Microsoft has launched GitHub Models, which is a direct competitor to Hugging Face. In this video, I am going to introduce you to GitHub Models, which is a direct response of Microsoft to Hugging Face ubiquitous model repository. These days, whenever a new model is launched, of course, this open source one, or if you need a data set from open source, the first place to go is Hugging Face, of course. Hugging Face has expanded their presence not only in the model space, but also they have data sets, they have spaces, they have Gradio UI and few other things, including some of the trainers. And to be fair, they have done wonderful work in terms of uplifting the knowledge about generative AI in the last one year or so. And that is where I think Microsoft also wants a piece of pie. If you have been in this industry long enough, you know that this is what Microsoft always does. Whether it is loud cloud in early years of 2000 or in various other a long line of companies where Microsoft first chips in to buy it. If it can't buy it, they just launch a product to kill it. Now, let's see how it plays out. For me, I think it is always good to have an alternative, always good to have a competition. As long as Hugging Face stays in the market, remain profitable, which is very hard to do in the face of Microsoft, I think we are good to go. So this marketplace on GitHub looks cool to me where you can, as you can see on your screen, you can do the co-pilot, you can do the models, you can play around with various apps. So I'm particularly more interested in models. So if you go to their homepage and then look at it, you will see there are a lot of providers which they already have populated, which includes, of course, Meta's Llama, Mistral, OpenAI's. So this is interesting. Now, if I click on this OpenAI GPT-4, it is already there. From here, you would need to go to Azure API service. And primarily, some people are saying that this is simply an Azure, Azure AI Playground integration with GitHub. That's it. So it is nothing more than that. I think it is more than that. Yes, there is for the closed source one, it is directly integrated with this GPT-4 and all that stuff, but you still can use a lot of open source model. For example, if I click on this Meta Llama 3.18 billion, you will see that you can simply access it through API. You can, if you want to use it in the console, then you can use their playground here by simply clicking on playground. And it is not available yet. You have to join the wait list, which I haven't done so. I will do shortly and then um, you can access it through API and the, all that stuff. So look really cool to me. But one thing I am a bit um, confused about as would it also be offering the data sets or not, which we need to check. And this is the copilot extension, which you can use with a lot of other stuff still growing. And then if you click on apps, these are apps which you, where you can drill down. Now, hopefully it won't really become too cluttered and hopefully Microsoft will keep it as easy and intuitive as we can see on, on Hugging Face instead of throwing everything in it for them. But so far, for example, if you are interested in only chat applications, click on chat and you can see <clears throat> that these are AI powered applications where you can simply select the application and then go from there. So for example, this is a unicorn train. If you click here and you can add that ext extension in your copilot. If you don't know what copilot is, I already have done a video. So please search the channel. And then if you go up, um, there are a few other things too. But as I said, I don't see any data set related information. So I'll be very keen to see how that plays out. And now there are two cool things which I found out about this GitHub models by Microsoft. First is that once this playground is available for the model, it will be free. So it's a free playground where you can adjust models parameter and submit prompts to see how the model responds, which is quite good. Now you can also um, select various hyper parameters and then you can chat in the right in the uh, playground. But there are few limits around the rate limits, but I think they are quite generous. You shouldn't be too worried about it. Um, for example, tokens per minute are 15, which is quite good. 
and then you can even make five concurrent requests you can make 50 requests per day which i think a bit low but other than that i think it is all good another cool thing is that it is going to provide you a free api usage once it is available in the waitlist and this api usage is that you can experiment with ai models in your own application so you can also for example you want to see how to use this one in the code maybe i'll just go with meta llama 3 70 billion instruct and you will see that there is um, model architecture these are the some information around its training data set and then uh, from here you can check its evaluation these are the few of the benchmarks and then this is a transparency and this is a license so once it is available you will see that there will be a code icon here you will click on the code and then it will give you the whole stuff as how you can implement or embed it in your code and the api will be free with some of the rate limits which you can also check from their website now i just want to see if they have also included Gemma's models or not the google's one nope but you can find them on hugging face so that is one cool thing that um, google's models are not here on microsoft's marketplace but hugging face has them so which is quite good so if you go to hugging face and type jamma here you see that all the google's model are here at least hugging face still has some edge there are various models which you can check out and hugging face is quite liberal um, i'm more than sure that this marketplace would be as liberal as the hugging face one so that's it guys i hope that this was useful join the waitlist i will drop the link to it in video description it never hurts to have an alternate thanks for watching